Okay, I'm going to talk about your corporate identity and knowing your colors. Many times when we're asked to help a customer maintain their brand consistency throughout the web on other social media networks, it's really difficult for us when they don't know what their color values are. So this could range anything from the colors to their logo, to the background on their website. And these things should have been documented somewhere in the past, whether it be a designer who created their logo or the webmaster or web designer who created their website. Now, a really cool thing about a couple of these websites I'm going to show you is that it gives us as social media management business to be able to help you a little better in terms of finding the exact colors that you're using. So one of the websites I like to use is this colorcombos.com. And sometimes if you're looking for colors that complement each other, really neat thing on this website is that you can choose a color that you're looking for, let's say a blue. And when you click on that, it gives you a good example of different color combinations that has the color blue in it. Nice thing too is of course it gives you the hex values as well for the colors. So that's kind of neat. Also another thing that I like to do as well is a customer may, ha may have a website, not know the color values. And what I'll actually do is I'll use this portion here where it says you can grab the website colors. I'm going to use a really simple example and that is the Google website right here. So the URL is simply www.google.com. I'm gonna take that value and put it right here. Click on get. And there you go. Those are the colors that it's grabbing from that website. Now it's taking into consideration different hues and shades or shadows that may be on that website. However, it is very handy to know the basic colors that you're grabbing from the website. So this is one tool that I like to use on colorcombos.com. Another thing is that you can actually click on the drop down menu. Um, and of course you can do all kinds of cool things and that is get complementary colors. If you have one color in mind that you want to match up or basically pose along one side, of each other and also you can make a template so when you do make a template it actually lets you choose what colors you want to use for background foreground and this is handy if you're trying to decide let's say a custom background that you're trying to create on a social media website or even just for creating a website for that matter Another website that I like to use as well is that I know some websites don't necessarily support hex values for colors. So I'm just going to grab one right here, hex four and numbers 551A8B. And I'm just going to copy that with control C. And this is a website that I like to use, www.javascriptor.net. And as you can see, it's basically hex to RGB conversion. So all I do is I just paste the color value there and the hex value convert to RGB and there are my values. So some of the websites you might be working with for your social media customizations may not take hex numbers, they might take RGB, or maybe you're even working in Adobe Illustrator or another graphical program that requires RGB values. This is a great way to find it out. So this is just a little insight on some of the tools that we like to use at Owldesk. Thanks for watching.